car park's just up here. So it's really easy access. It's not like it's a great big long walk Hi. to get here or anything. It's beautiful. worth of dirt road over the last I don't know, week or two. Yeah. Um, yeah. So now we're heading out to Boralula to get some fuel and then keep our keep heading on the Savannah Way. excited about <laughs> oh, bitumen although I think it only lasts about a K or two and it goes back to dirt yeah true all oh, right good stuff we'll get ourselves the obligatory photos I guess hey and then yeah. keep going <laughs> let the car cool down for a little bit yeah and... but that wasn't too bad no that's 270 K's or whatever from Bura Lula Bura Lula yep We've probably got another 60 k's or so before we get to hell gates and then <coughs> bless me um, and then i think it's another 20 k's or something and then we're back on bitumen yeah so so about another 80 k's of dirt road good stuff that's cool all right all right stretch, stretch the legs i've got a sleepy bottom <laughs> Yesterday, after we um, 
went across all the dirt track from Burralula. We popped out of Hell's Gates and checked out um, the little campsite, well, big camping area there at the roadhouse. Um, stopped for a little bit, had a little look at the map and decided we would venture on through to Gregory Downs, um, which is where we've met my parents here. Um, Ari's making a great big noise here. Ari, stop making noise, please. Um, anyway, so um, we're camped up here on the Gregory River. So once you kind of come into Gregory, you cross over, there's not much of a town, it's really just a pub. You cross over the river and there's a massive big camping area down here uh, where you can camp up right next to this beautiful flowing river. So it's pretty busy, um, but we've got a little spot up here sort of overlooking down to the next level where the caravans are down on the riverfront. And there's this cool river that the, kid, the kids can actually jump on boards, and adults, I guess, can jump on boards and, or just float down the river. So we're about to go give that a try. But yeah, this is an awesome camp spot, free camp. There's a little bridge, walking bridge, you can walk straight over to go to the pub. Um, and yeah, you can just hang out here. It is a six day, seven day maximum. Seven day maximum, Mark is here. Seven day maximum. <laughs> um, so you can't stay here forever, but you know, it's still great. And it's just, yeah, great spot to hang out. Beautiful. And it's only about 80 k's away from Lawn Hill. It is. And Adele yep. Grove and everything. So if you're yep. not wanting to go in there, or if you want to do day trips, if you want, yep. if it's busy, it's a good spot. You can base really cool. Here. I mean, yep. there are a lot of people here, but it doesn't feel like it. You're not no, it jammed doesn't. in. Yeah. It's um, because you sort of park wherever you want. It's awesome. Yeah, it's very cool. Ripper spot. Anyway, we're gonna go check out this uh, flowing creek. Yeah, I'll go check it out. That's pretty cool. Kids went gliding by there. Hop out down the end here and then walk back and do it all over again. Bit of fun. Feelings caught always keeping us close, but it's strange now. Dreams holding us closer. Meadows of our youth. A hundred and seven days. We're calling it backwards. Dreams holding us closer How was that? Good. Good? We had two other boys trying to race us for no, we won. Like, good job. Did you just say you peed your pants a little bit? No. Oh. <laughs> you enjoy that? Yeah? Yeah? Alright, you're gonna go again? Yep. Go! Woohoo! <laughs> you! <laughs> I'm stuck in the current there. <laughs> Good swimming, bud.
so all the kids have been having a go going down the river. I thought I might as well give it a go. I just went. Obviously, I'm wet. It's pretty cool. A bit of fun. But we'll go for another swim. Try it again. Should be good. Now, we don't have an inflatable ring or anything like that, so I'm just stealing one of the kids' boogie boards. Still works. Really cool. Anyway, float time. You just got to watch out because the current oh, is a little bit strong. And it pushes you into the bank. It's a little bit shallow in some places, so you rub it on rocks. Ow! But, very cool. Good fun. Oh, shit! Alright. Doing it boogie board style. Turns out, it's a bit rougher than what I thought. Anyway. <laughs> Kids been going at it all day with no problem. I'm just unco, anyway. How's this? Alrighty, so this morning we left our cute little free camp we were down by the Gregory River um, and headed towards Adele's Grove which is um, only about 10 kilometres away from the Lawn Hill National Park and Lawn Hill Gorge. Um, so basically this camp here, you just come on in, pay your money at the start. Um, for us it was 66 a night, that was with the four kids, I think it's 44 for, um, sorry, with three kids. Three kids. <laughs> I don't know where the extra kid came from. Um, it's, I think it's 44 a night for two adults, so yeah. Um, anyway, so that was the cost. Um, he's put me off now. So anyway, so you come in here and then there's a lots of camp spots sort of up the top, um, just past the office there, which are up sort of more on a bit of a hill or more on a, I don't know, a raised area there, um, fully out uh, into the sunshine. So if you need lots of solar, um, and then down, you sort of come down a hill and down here down the bottom is a place called The Grove and it's actually got beautiful palm trees and um, big uh, palm, what are those things? Pandanus? <laughs> no. Sycamore? These. Gum trees. Gum trees. <laughs> ghost gums. Nice ghost gums down here. Um, so you can also camp in under here. Obviously you're not going to get as much solar down here but we've found a nice little spot where um, sort of in the morning and through midday, we were getting a fair bit of solar onto the caravan. So we popped ourselves down here. Um, we've got Nana and Poppy down here with us because they'll be with us for a little while now. And just a little short walk, like probably, I don't know, maybe 20, 50 metres, 50 metres. The water's right in front of us here. And there's a little spot where you can swim, you can fish. So you're on the Lawn Hill um, Creek or Lawn Hill River or something, I think it's called through here. So that's lovely. Uh, the campground has also got toilets, showers. At the moment, the showers aren't hot. She was very open about that. Um, they've got a problem with their system, their new $20,000 system that has got put in, and they can't fix it themselves because they're waiting for it to be fixed by um, somebody under warranty. So they are sorting that out. There's lots of rubbish bins around. There's water tanks full of water here that's drinkable. It's treated water, so you can fill up your vans. 
um, and it's only a 15 minute drive down to Lawn Hill Gorge which is what we're going to go and explore over the next few days. So yeah, have a little look around our site. Mark's having a conniption. <laughs> uh, I blew my plugger out and I've got this spare set and I think my foot's grown. How'd you blow your plugger out? It just blew sideways, it didn't even blow a plug. It's, I know, it's a mystery. <laughs> anyway, um, so you just walk, there's a little path, but you just walk sort of over past those trees and that's the creek down there. So you can actually um, camp on the creek, but there just weren't any spots big enough for us, or especially with the two vans at the moment. So we're pretty happy with this little spot here. So we're gonna hang out here for three, three nights. Um, we're about to go down on a little boat cruise down at um, Lawn Hill. So we're going to enjoy that wasabi. for a little picnic, is it? Pretty good. Kids are feeding fish with apples, because that's what fish like. Kids to work. They're now taking boat tours. You're probably getting shit for this. <laughs> 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 That 
That was really fun driving that boat. Did you enjoy that? Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah? Did you have a good tour? Yes. That was good fun, wasn't it? Yes. It was epic. Excellent. We saw some crockies. We got some crockies. Go, 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 go. Didn't like the wind. Morning. Morning. <laughs> All right, so we are up super early this morning, um, trying to chase the sunrise. I'm uh, going to take one of the walks up here today at the National Park. So we're going up the Island Stack Walk, um, which is supposed to climb a steep incline and then you're up to like a big sort of, well, it's like an island up high, I guess. Um, you kind of just walk around like 360 all the way around this sort of rock stack. So hopefully we get some beautiful views up there. You won't be able to see me probably right now. It's looking very dark. Oh, there oh, we go. Hello, there's some lights. Um, so yeah, hopefully we'll get some beautiful views. Watch the light come over the gorge. That should be gorgeous. Mm. Just got to get up this big, huge incline to begin with, I think. So we'll see how we go. Should be worth it in the end. It will be worth it in the end. All right, so it turns out we can't do the island stacks walk because um, there's a floating bridge you need to walk across to get over there. So we're changing our plans. We're actually going to go up to the Indari Falls lookout um, and along to the upper gorge, perhaps. So we'll quickly head that way and see if we can catch the light coming over the gorge. So we're thinking this is probably where the bridge was um, going across the river so you can go across to the stack of rocks to go up to the island stacks. So. We're not going to be able to do it today, unfortunately. That's all right. We'll go find another walk to do. All right. Take two. We'll try, I think, for this one. The Duodari Lookout. Cool. It's quite beautiful, isn't it? Mm. A little bit sunny. Along this track there's little places to stop where you can see different views so you just get so many different viewpoints it's absolutely beautiful one second you're looking at the mountains the next you're looking at down into the gorge up the river it's just amazing it's a really beautiful walk and it's not overly hard so far that incline was the hardest part once you got to the top of that it's kind of just little ups and downs from there so it's pretty good it's beautiful Naturally forming stairs. Yeah, that's pretty good, eh? They're so the nice. best. 
So here we are at something something in Dari Falls. As you can see there's a natural dam that's been created, creating a set of waterfalls to the right and to the left. Thank you tour guide Mark. In the left hand waterfall at the base of that there's a crocodile that's been living there. Um, it's taken nine snaps of nine tourists in the last two or three months. So don't go in there and smack it with the paddle of your canoe because that's just silly. That's what's happened and that's why people get bitten. <laughs> but how's the serenity? So our little boat tour yesterday took us in through here, parked up there, and then the kids got out and had a swim down the bottom there. So that's where the, the boat tour takes you and this is where you can take your canoes again in through here. There's a little track that then goes up and around and you hop into this upper gorge up here and then you can paddle up the upper gorge as well. So that's pretty cool. All right, so we're trekking on to the upper gorge lookout. It's an extra two k's up from the falls where we just were. So we're just gonna keep on trudging. We have made it this far, might as well keep going. Otherwise, if you wanna come back and do it again, you gotta do all that walking again, so. Might as well keep going. Just keep going. Right up to the upper gorge walk. Upper gorge lookout. <laughs> Beautiful. The watercolour is just amazing. And when you look out at the cliff faces there, just the change over time must be phenomenal. So beautiful. And so peaceful. Alrighty, well it was a slight change of plan for what we were going to do this morning. Yeah, it sort of uh, put a spanner in the works, but... It did, put it off a little bit. So the bridge over to any of the walks, sort of over where Island Stack is. So Island Stack, um, Wild Dog Dreaming and the Botanical Walk, I think it is. Um, you can't access over there at the moment because the bridge is washed away in the last flood. Um, so we ended up doing the whole like walk all the way down to the Upper Gorge Lookout and then like circling back around again so we did it apparently the hard way the where we went way, yeah. yeah we went anti-clockwise um so we went up to the um duodari lookout first and then we went along um sort of follow, followed the creek along down to indari falls and then up to the upper gorge lookout and then looped back around just through the wilderness kind of thing back down to the car park mm. so it was seven point 
three, three four Ks. Yeah. Um, took us about three yeah. hours. But it was quite a nice walk, really, wasn't it? Yeah. Lots of little lookouts along the way on that first half when you're really following the gorge along. Um, and then on the way back, it was really just a straight shot back just home. Get, just get a back couple of little hills, yeah. hardly anything though, but it was just, yeah, straight back. So that was pretty good. Hmm. Good start to the day. Yeah, get the blood pumping. Yeah. So, Time for a coffee. Yeah, we've done that. We've gone up the gorge in a boat. We've walked the whole thing around. There's not too much else we can do here at the moment because no. of those other ones being closed. So we've done a fair, fair, bit, fair of... bit of it, really. I think we'll um, check out Adele's Grove today and go down, do some fishing down here on the creek. You can fish here. You can't fish down at the National Park. Mm. Um, and yeah, just chill out for a bit. Sounds like a good day. Need to get a coffee though. Mm. It's like already half past ten. I haven't had a coffee. Yeah. Anyway, we'll get on with it. That's it. So Mark's decided to clean the filter out of our dust reduction system out of the van. And he's taken it out and it is absolutely disgusting. <laughs> So the next, uh, our last day here, we decided to come and see the sunrise properly this time and actually come to the right lookout. So we did, um, and it's absolutely gorgeous. So definitely put it on your list to so come up here and check out the sunrise. Yeah. What has happened here? <laughs> We're not going no. We know what it is. Oh, oh my oh, God, Dad caught a fish. Oh, <laughs> you know what it is? Mom says fish to me. Holy moly! That's a thread fin. Good one. Yeah, I don't keep it. Yeah. All I'll right. The There's fish in the water. <laughs> Let's get some rods in, guys. There you go, so just out there we've got the uh, the big salty. Uh, we we're having a fish here on the shore and uh, we noticed there's something big over there. So yeah, got the old binoculars out. Turns out there's a big old salty over there. Viewer discretion advised. 